How about it, y'all? You got hog. I'm the Southern Diablo 4 resource. Thanks for stopping by. So we got big updates. Updates, updates, updates. Uh, if y'all watch the developer live stream, you already kind of know what's going on. But if you missed out, of course, you missed the cool dance party. You missed a bunch of stuff going on. Uh, it was kind of derailed at some point. Um, and then we found out some kind of sad panda news. First kind of news that's made hog a little sad. But that's life. We'll get over it. But let's check it out. All right, so as we dive into it, first of all, sorry if you hear my air conditioner in the background. I do live in South Georgia. It is like 97 degrees right now. It is hotter than the handle on the gate of hell. So I've tried to get some noise suppression in here, but I literally cannot sit in my hot box without my air conditioner going. So sorry if there's a little noise back there. But anyway, they went over about six things uh, during this live stream. It was kind of hard to follow uh, between my group, my my stream cutting up us having a good time and the kind of derail kind of all over the place they were with the live stream a little bit but uh we talked about the seasonal quest lines so the big thing about the seasons okay there's four seasons so one every quarter so that'll be about what every three months uh so each season's gonna have a theme uh they joked around and said zombies and then we joked around on stream and said man all these creators are gonna be mad. oh zombie update coming out oh my god new zombies could we possibly see zombies? Zombies, zombies, zombies. Uh, they joked around using that as an example, saying like, oh, zombies. You know, you could have a zombie storyline or this or that. Um, yeah, it was real vague. That was one of the kind of the highlights for the whole live stream was vague. That was kind of just, we're, we'll see, we'll know later. Like, we heard a lot of that going on. Um, they talked about the, the difference in the campaign in normal versus what what kind of some people are saying in the seasonal campaign um no there's going to be a storyline in the season that you actually can just go by that kind of tells you about the game mechanics and all of the season the campaign is a totally separate thing actually if you beat the campaign one time all the way through you don't ever have to play it again you can skip it even on the start of every season so that's some really good cool news right there that i didn't know before and i'm sure there's going to be a couple smart asses that go in the comments and say that's not that's not new news hog we already knew about that if you'd be on the forum well that's fine you knew and i didn't know so good you knew something better than i did i ain't no damn pro player um some other things that we're gonna get is uh like seasonal mechanics just normal diablo 3 style diablo 2 style mechanics you know we get or seasonal mechanics we get new items new uniques that are actually going to carry over into the uh what do they call that the afterthought or the eternal realm the eternal realm that's what they call it all of that stuff will carry over to the eternal realm and the uniques and everything will actually uh the way they're talking about it could be included in all the other seasons from then on um each season will also be retired after the the one that they do um unless they like it again so that's another thing they were saying something else they talked about was uh fresh gameplay uh, and that was just, you know, like we're used to new mechanics, new powers, new items, um, new ways to play. They did say they want to shake the meta up at all times. So of course there is going to be a meta, but they do want it to be as balanced as possible so that, um, it's not like in Diablo three, <laughs> tell Russia wizard, you know, that you just had to play one class to have the best power. Now there will be seven tiers in the season and it will be just like diablo 3 where you had a seasonal journey and you had to complete that but the nice thing about this is you did not have to complete every single item in that list to progress to the next one so one of the examples that they gave was there might be some pvp um like objectives in that tier list you want to have to do those if you don't want to do pvp you can just skip those and still be able to move on to the next seasonal tier uh, another thing about the seasons uh, you'll earn more um aspects and crafting materials by completing each tier once it's done then you'll earn a reward of that sort and the next one you'll earn a reward of the same things etc etc all right so let's break down battle pass this is important there's a lot of questions about it it's real simple there's three tiers there's a free there's a premium and then there's like a big dick whale i don't think that's the official name of it what's it called accelerated okay what they said about the accelerated was if you are trying to let's say you came in the season a month late and you're trying to catch up you can use that and i know that's going to send off alarm sirens with everybody saying hey that's that's pay for power it's pay to win it's not it's actually not it's just 
pay to progress to get more cosmetics. Here's the cold, hard reality of the battle pass. You don't gain anything except for cosmetics by buying the battle pass. And the reason is the whole point of the battle pass is to get the primordial ashes and what do they call them? Smolder and ashes. That's primordial ashes, Diablo three. The smolder and ashes come by working through the battle pass and you take those smolder and ashes and you cash them in for seasonal bonuses or buffs or perks or whatever. Okay. You are unable to achieve these ashes on the, on the paid tiers. So you can only get them on the free tiers and there's still a level cap requirement to get them. And there's still prerequisites to get it. So you absolutely cannot pay for power. It doesn't matter. So it, it really doesn't matter if you buy the battle pass or not. The only reason you buy the battle pass is to get the extra cosmetics that come with it. That's it. So you can put that to rest. There's no pay for power. That's some good news. Uh, so they did look at some other things. Um, they showed us a couple of things about the, uh, the cosmetic shop and some of the things that you can see in the battle pass. Now here's a picture of the battle pass here and you can see the free tiers and you can see the paid tiers and it just unlocks cosmetics. And, um, there's your season blessings right there that you can spend the, the, the uh, ashes for right there. So those are pretty cool. You can see some of the armor and stuff you can get right there. Uh, they also showed us some more of the stuff. Now, what was funny is people asked if you could refund these blessings. So if you spent some, some of the ashes, could you refund them and spend them on something else? And they didn't know. I thought it was quite comical that the developers didn't know their own game that well. That was a little concerning. And not that I'm going to get negative about it, but it was just pretty funny that the entire stream we heard, maybe you'll have to see, possibly, we heard a lot of those uh, synonyms a lot. And then when that question got asked and they went, oh God, we'll have to get back to you on that. Uh, when you spend smoldering ash, can you re-roll that smoldering ash like onto like different blessings and so forth? Like, can you unspend it? Can yeah. you unspend it and put it on other blessings? Honestly, I'll have to follow up with that. Uh, with design. I will follow up on that. Oh, there we go. And I will provide an answer you on that. You stumped us. Yeah, <laughs> we've been stumped. We've nice. been stumped. Um, like, damn, y'all designed the game and you don't know if you can refund this ash? which I would imagine you can't refund that ash because once you spin it, you spin it. And the way that it's looking here is you get all of them anyway once you get to the end of the battle pass. So it doesn't really matter, but I just thought that was kind of comical. Um, and then they talked about quality of life. So brace yourselves for lists. We got, I'm sure we're going to get a bunch of improvement lists coming, but um, they said they were going to be listening to player feedback throughout the entire support of the game. And if the players wanted to see something really bad, then they would do that. So that could possibly mean we see an increase in clan size. We see the ability to make your character skinny or fat, short or tall. Like that would be really nice. Those are just minuscule things that you complain about. You're not complaining, but you just give feedback about you wish you could see, but that is a double-edged sword. You gotta be careful. Hopefully the devs know better than to listen to just a bunch of crazy out there Diablo three. Let's turn the game back into Diablo three style lists. Um, but that was good to know that they are going to be listening to player feedback and adjusting. So if there's something that the entire community doesn't like, they'll fix it and everything will be fine. They want us to play the game. So that's good news. Now the bad news, like I said, they jumped around all over the place. So my notes are all over the place too, but the bad news was there's not going to be a leaderboard for seasons one or two. Boo this man. Now, this first negative thing I'm going to say, that sucks. And I said on stream, that tells me they ain't done with the game. Like, they're not they're not done. They said, when we figure it out, like, we'll let you know, or like something along those lines, not to paraphrase it too uh, generally, but it just really had me concerned. Like, man, leaderboards are easy. Like, I don't know. I guess they're trying to prevent botting or something, but then it makes me think, like, that gives the botters even more time to make a perfect, like a perfected bot to where they can just run all this in game. I don't, I don't really know. I, I just, my initial thoughts on that were pure disappointment. It is what it is. Uh, really at this point, it really started derailing big time. Um, the customization part was talked about. They showed some stuff about, um, what it looks, what armor looks like. 
when you buy it in the shop versus what it looks like when you wear it in an area and stuff like that. And it was a little vague for me. I know some people understood it, but I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. So if you understand, let me know in the comments, but it was just interesting that you could possibly buy something in the shop and it look one way. And then you go to this certain area of the world and it looks another way. And I don't know if I really liked that because hell, if I'm buying a piece of armor, cause it looks a certain way, I want to look that certain way when I go in the area. So, uh, so then they talked about the aspirational challenges and, uh, that was real vague as well. Basically that was every season you're going to have a challenge, a big challenge that you got to overcome. And that was the kind of extent to that. Um, if you figured out a little bit more about it, let me know, but the stream was kind of jumpy around, you know, here's an example of that. Pickle challenges? <laughs> Pin pinnacle challenges. Pinnacle. Pinnacle. Did I, I, I pickle honestly challenges? heard. We all heard pickle Zombies challenges. Zombies and pickles is, yeah. 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 All right, okay, well, fair enough. Fair enough, all right. So Throwing some mayo in there. <laughs> At SummerSlam. <laughs> uh, which is fine, you know, but it's just kind of hard to follow when you got a lot of that going on. But anyway, you know, we learned a little bit about some stuff with this live stream. So the big thing is the server slam's coming up this weekend. It starts Friday. Be there, be square. If you need a community to run with, the House of Hog, my Discord link is in the description. We ain't mile, we wild, baby. Love to have you come over there. That's also the only way to get into my clan plus for life is through the discord. We will fill up pretty fast. So if you need a cool clan to run with, you know how to do that. Also big thank you to all my supporters and everyone that watched the live stream. Y'all are kick ass. About 68% of y'all that watch my channel are not subscribed. So if you could do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, it would only just take a second, turn the bell on that way. You're always notified of more hog content. Cause we're going to continue to put out more D4 content as the release comes. We got funnies, build guides, strategies, parodies, call outs, all kind of shit. You know how Hog does it. We ain't my we wow. But anyway, appreciate y'all for watching. We'll see you next time.